Hello and welcome amigos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make that sexy nasty sauce that we talked about on a previous video. And if you don't know what a sexy nasty sauce is, it's an antojito mexicano, a Mexican snack made with tamarind, chamoy, and a lot of really naughty, nasty, sexy fixings. So let's go over the ingredients so that we can make the perfect, delicious, ready to party kind of sauce. You nasty girl. <laughs> yeah. Let's begin by adding our water. Next, we're gonna be adding chamoy. I like to use the mega chamoy, it's my favorite flavor. But if you guys don't have access to this, I have a great recipe for homemade chamoy, which I also love. It's just that this bottle is something I've been having for years and it's just, it just works for me. So either or, it's gonna work. Ancho chili paste. If you don't have ancho chili paste, you can use ancho chili powder, and I've showed you guys on previous videos how you can make it on your own. I like this one because it's a little bit tangy, just slightly, okay? So that's what I'm gonna be adding. This is optional, but do you know your salsa getty candy? Keep the little packets for those of you that don't like it. I have a lot of family members that don't like it and I never dispose of it. We keep the packet and that's what I'm gonna be adding. What flavor is that for those of, those of them that don't know what a salsa this is, is. Uh, salsa getty is like um, it's like a fruity little strip I'll put a picture up here and the sauce is more like a tamarind if you don't have that packet then you can buy that squeezy tube right there right yep you can just buy that little squeezy tube and it's just up to you this is optional it's not a deal breaker I'll make sure to leave it in the description area which one is a deal breaker and which one you should have now the ancho paste is just a preference. The great thing about this is about making it comfortable for your home, so let's continue. This tamarind candy right here has got to be the best tamarind candy in all of Mexico. And I will say it because I've been having this candy since I was a little girl. It's been my top favorite. And if you can't get a hold of this, and if you wanna ask, I believe that you can ask for a chasco, which are very, very similar. So shout out to our friends from Morelia, Mexico. We love you guys and thank you for giving us such a great product. Seasoning tamarind. Seasoning. It has to be seasoning. If you guys see another brand, I still haven't uh, tasted a brand that's just as wonderful as that one. I don't like to isolate or throw anybody under a bus or, you know, but seasoning, you guys did it right. We're gonna add our Buffalo Clasica. This does not taste like an American buffalo sauce. It's very, very different. This is a sweet and tangy type of sauce. It's delicious. I know how to make this out of scratch, but it's not as great as a buffalo. I'll just put it out there. They did a really good job. And a lot of these products, Cloud's gonna link in the description area to our Amazon storefront, just so that you guys can take a peek and get an idea of what they are, cost, and things like that. Okay. And the entire time I'm adding it, I'm going, oh, 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 that's too tart. <laughs> Your tummy hurts? <laughs> no, my tummy doesn't hurt. It's just that you get that liquid stuff fill, uh, building up in your mouth. Yes. What, the tartness. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's continue. Next, I have some hibiscus flowers, Jamaica. Shout out to all my Jamaican friends. I think you guys call this a little bit different, right? I can't remember what you guys call it. Let us know in Is the it comments. Sorrel? Is it sorrel? Or? Sorrel. Sorrel like maybe, that, something sorrel. like that. We almost got it, friends, but what I did, I added a little bit of water just to hydrate our uh, our flour, and we're just gonna add it in, okay? Hola! You're gonna need these candies. These are my favorite candies to eat on their own, but one of these little uh, orange-flavored plums, it's gonna be delicious in your little sexy sauce, okay? And I know we have some questions about, are they apricots or plums? Well, if you get them from Ola, they're gonna be apricots. But if you buy them from somebody else, they're probably dehydrated plums like the Saladitos. So you can add both of these. But when you're making this sauce, I think just add the ones from here. Cause then you're not gonna have enough room to fill it with the rest of the stuff that we have going on for the sexiness, okay? There was a controversy last time in your comments thinking you didn't know what Saladitos were. When it comes to sour candy and these nasty, disgusting things I'm a kid at heart when it comes to this I can give you a tummy ache and also make you feel really really good I think that's how a lot of people feel about me talking anyway so let's just continue with the recipe but these are the olas that you want to add in here so just add all the packet okay go ahead and start mixing and you're gonna add your sugar. What, more sugar? Yes, 
You guys know how, how it goes when it's chamoy and tamarind candy. You need sugar. For those of you that don't like the super sour, tangy, I can't resist, you like more of the sweetness, you wanna stop right here. This is all you need to do to have your little sexy sauce. But those, those wild ones, you know who I'm talking about. Those creative ones that just put everything in a pile and just, it's sour. Keep watching because it's gonna get, it's gonna get better. You mean the wild kids that make their family members travel miles and distances to go get them them tangy treats? Yes. <laughs> the ones that know who's coming from Mexico and who's going to what store. You know what kids I'm talking about. The I'm ones one that of ask you. for hot Cheetos and tamarindo, those are the ones. I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. <laughs> I'm the cool mom when it comes to that. <laughs> Next, we have options to give this some spice because you need to have tangy sweet and a little bit of spice, right? Not just our hot Cheetos. So you can either use some chiltepines, these little round uh, balls of fire and smokiness, and they're just, they're a great flavorful spice. Or you can use this chiltepin salsa that Cloud and I have really been into, and we almost finished a bottle in like a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can use um, one or the other. It's gonna be up to you and what you have access to. What are you using here? Is right now, I'm gonna be using the salsa because I love, love, love it. Me buying like a case of that girl. Also, this is optional. You can add your own chile de arbol or you can season it with a little bit of this arbol chili powder that I've been using and I really like it. And that is to taste. You forgot to add a little more. You got a little more? No, I'm just saying, you, you put like half the bottle in there, girl. Girl, girl you know, you know what? Don't mess with me because you don't even like, past this, you don't like it. Even before that, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll make it for, for the kids or for you. I'm happy to help. All right, friends, tell us your nastiest little things that you've dipped because if you think this is nasty, I have another uh, a pickle combo. I'm not gonna be sharing it here, but I will share it on another Antojitos video that is completely disgusting and so good, almost like a pregnant woman. Yeah, that pickle one, the pickle snack is fire. I like that one because yes. it has a sweetness to it. Okay, friends, this is where you wanna make it comfortable for your home, and I'm making it really, really comfortable. I'm gonna be using all these seasonings that are slightly different, yet great on their own, like tajin, king, right? But when you need a little bit of sweetness, you need these two. Now, this one has a different kind of sweetness than this one. So you're gonna have to use the ones that you're comfortable with and you like. But if you're not sure, follow my recipe exactly. But those of you that are pros, the ones that are watching right now, those new ones that are about to subscribe and click the bell for notifications, you guys wanna mix it up how you like it, okay? You know who I'm talking to. Well, the difference between the trechas and the farritos is that farritos is closer to Miguelitos. It has more of a granulated look and the other one's finer powder. But it's also the flavor, girl. Yeah. It does have a little bit more of the Miguelito taste, but it's just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. Friends, if you guys can help me out in the comments, which you usually do, let us know. Let us know what you think and which one your favorite one is. Just continue to mix the ingredients in there and taste as you go, okay? Here's what we have going on. These powders you can find at your local grocery stores, whether it's Mexican or not. I've seen it at Walmart, um, just an American grocery store. You can find these. And you can find them in whatever flavor you like, and that's the flavor that you're gonna add in here. They even have a tamarind, but I use this tamarind uh, powder. You can make it into agua de tamarindo, or your tamarind water, or you can use it for your snacks, which is what I end up using the powder for, snacks. So you can either use this one, which is more natural, or you can use these ones. They're, they're excellent, because you're already being naughty. Might as well go all out, right? So we're gonna be using tamarind, but you guys pick the flavor of your choice. If you like fresa, strawberry, go with that. Whatever new flavor they have, try it and then go from there. I'm going with tamarind is the favorite one. Always will be. <laughs> go ahead and mix that. Remember, these little powders have sugar in them, so the amount of sugar that I gave you is pretty uh, pretty good for this balance, but you're gonna have to adjust however you like it, okay? Because once you get into this stuff, it's like to each their own. I'm gonna be adding some dried fruit to this mix because it is out of this world. I have some dehydrated peaches, apricots, and mangoes. And if you're gonna use dehydrated mangoes, I definitely recommend this brand. I always shout it out. 
Shout out to my friends in the Philippines. You guys nailed it on this one. It is so good, especially with our, with our mixture we have going on. Add your peaches. I guess this is more of a natural way of the, of the peach rings. Those good ones, you know, mm -hmm. the trolley ones. Ooh, those are good. But if you guys can use, you can use the trolley ones or you can use this one. But I like the, the real fruit in here. That was the mangoes and now the apricots. No, it's not baby season, it's my birthday season. You wanna add your favorite tamarind candy and the tamaroca always delivers, especially when they're fresh. Ooh, the ones that haven't been setting there for so long. You know which ones I'm talking about? Yes. The ones that don't hurt when you bite them off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what you wanna use. So I'm gonna be using that and I'm also gonna be using a chaka chaka. And those that know, you know. Choo choo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what, I'm excited. Look at this pile of deliciousness. You said, you said it's getting excited. Am I it? No, my stomach is oh. it. My stomach is it. We need to rename my stomach, guys. It's it? That's cute. It. That's scary. It's gonna come out like Boo Boo during Halloween. I like clowns. I think it's cute. Do you guys know Boo Boo is Cloud's little chihuahua? We'll show you guys a picture right here. And he dressed up to scare the kids. The kids pick on him. The teenagers come by here all the time and he just gets harassed. He doesn't by like teenagers. teenagers. What can we do, Boo Boo? You are an old man. He likes little, little hands and little kids. If you all have <laughs> stories about your chuchos, your dogs, or your uh, fur babies, let us know in the comments. We love, we love pets here. They're just great. Now when I tell you all about key limes, you definitely need key limes for this. And if you don't, it's gonna change the flavor. There's an amount of like citrus tartness to these key limes that is out of this world. So you're gonna go anywhere between Two to four, okay? And if you go more, come back and let me know how many you went because you are a whole. Ah! <laughs> oh, I got some in my you eye, okay? girl. I'm gonna lie. Ah! Okay, Pause. Cleaned your eye out. Ah! I gotta go wash my eye out. Are you okay? Um, I need a minute, guys. Okay. <laughs> and you got the lines that are closer to yellow in color than green, and that means that you're in trouble. Oh, I meant my eye is clean, guys. I don't know if anybody was questioning. My eyes were clean, but they're clean. Why are you pacing back and forth? Girl, because it burns. It burns. There's a lot of citrus in there, bendito. Oy. <laughs> you should wear safety goggles for this treat. You done? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Friends, sorry for the brief interruption. I'm safe. I just want to let you know to beware when you're squeezing lime. It can get in your eye, but I handled it like a boss. What do you guys think? That's great. Mommy duties. You know, we just keep rolling with it. Shield it. I'm wearing glasses. Do what you need to do. Well, I wear my glasses when I'm not making recipes. You guys know I get migraines. Mm -hmm. That's a lot I had somebody ask me, why do you blink so much? Because I'm being sexy. No, because I have astigmatism. The lights mess with me too. Like, <laughs> well, I don't even have fake lashes to be flirting or anything. I should. You guys see me with fake lashes, you know I'm flirting. Watch out. Damn, Cloud, what a tough crowd we got today. What's going on here? Not even a giggle? We are all set now. I'm gonna transfer it into one of these containers, but you can also put it in your mason jar. And this one, I made a little bit of a thicker paste. So if you don't add the water at the beginning, you're gonna get a thicker one. But if you want it runny, just like this, make sure to add that water portion, okay? Who wanted that piece? Ready to sell, friends. Listo para vender. Okay? Now this should cost you about $20 to sell because that's how good this is. I'm just saying. Like anything less than $20 here is messed up. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We wanna thank you so much for joining us and hanging out with us. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios.
Friends, let me show you what I do during the summer months when mom doesn't want to cook and we all need a meal, okay? Um, I pre-package all the fruit because it's more likely the kids are gonna enjoy it because it's like Whole Foods or this natural refrigerator that's just perfectly done for them and they're more likely to use it. I use different size containers. I use either this size or this size to portion them out um, and sometimes I keep them like this for after dinner. You just need something sweet. We'll grab this or for my agua frescas, boom, done, okay? So you can get these containers. Cloud's gonna link it in the description box on the Amazon storefront. Now let's go ahead and start preparing our delicious snacky snack before we begin I want to show you guys my pickle combination that I have going on I'm just I'm just gross like that sorry no this I get behind don't worry I don't eat this in front of my um, my partners they can't handle it you don't you do no. and then they can't handle it they can't handle it they're grossed out by me so this is something that I do when I'm wait you said partners well, whenever I've had partners. Oh, okay, not all like, at once. No, not like, <laughs> not while I was married. I'm talking about before, like I just, it's not something you can eat. Hey, it's not everybody inter enjoys it. It's the internet, girl, <laughs> I gotta clarify this. <laughs> Thanks, Cloud. All right, friends. So, what I have going on here is I have pickles with, uh, I went with a mango. Mango flavor, and over here I have the tamarindo flavor, and I added peaches, and over here I added mangos. Like the dehydrated ones. Let me get a spoon real quick. She did something different, but if, you, if this video goes well, I guess we can record the, the pickles, right? Well, this is different than one, the one, the nasty one that I have, guys. Oh, to see if Everybody hates the mm -hmm. other one that I, that I do, and I've been doing that one since I was about, I want to say, eight years old. Uh, but this is just pickles and mango, and then this one is tamarindo and peaches. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me, I just... I just go with the flow. So those are the little snacks that I have going on. And what I did was I put some of the mango and I squeezed uh, two key limes in each. All right? You guys with me? I'm with you. Okay. Let's put these little nasties over there because I don't know if some of you have a weak stomach. <laughs> I don't mean to Trust be me, offensive. They're, they're already left, the ones that have the weak stomach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Before we begin anything, I've already wrapped my pineapple into one of these awesome tamarind candies. I know this is gonna be a good snack because you just, you're Brady it. Your voice squeaked. <laughs> I got excited and my hair is like a lion, you know, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> so I just did this to the pineapple. This is super easy. You can either warm it up in your microwave or on a pan and then I just press it down with the tortilla press with a little plastic and I'm able to wrap it around just like that. Oh, cool. Okay, see how juicy it is? Mm -hmm. If you're making this with a pineapple, you can add a little bit of your uh, guajillo chili powder in the inside, so that way um, it can absorb a little bit of the juiciness from your pineapple. And it's still gonna drip. Not to worry, friends. All that juice is needed. Because we all need a little extra pineapple. And I make my pineapples too, where they don't um, start eating at your tongue because mm -hmm. they're so strong. So next is gonna be some grapes. And don't think that I itemize the grapes. My kids help out. They do. Great little helpers. Pick your watermelon. And if you, blueberries can be expensive, okay? But if you can have access to blueberries, with the chamoy, I'm telling you guys, it is amazing. Especially if you have these big juicy ones that burst in your mouth with the chamoy, mm -hmm. you're in for quite a treat. I'll take one, I'd like to test that. Oh, okay, that. okay. Thank you. I didn't give, this is a super juicy one, look. Mm. Thank you. Go ahead and add your orange in here. Today, I'm gonna go with a few of the tamarind pickles, okay? Stiff, you so nasty, that's right. This is a no judgment zone or else. If you guys rag on me too much right now and go at it, I won't share my drink, and my drink is spectacular. You said rag on me. Well, I'm sorry, I'm from a different time. What do you guys say? What do you guys say now? You're with the young kids? Clowning, I don't know. If you guys start clowning on me, guys, I might not show you my drink. <laughs> 
and then there's shading, and then there's all kinds of things. We'll go with shading because ragging is just, um, it's because I remember like growing up, I grew up during a different time where bullying wasn't so exposed. Pretty much if you were bullied, nobody knew about it. You would just get bullied and handle your business, right? So you guys have, uh, you guys have some safety. It's like playing tag and having that safety spot. So shout out for those protecting the kids getting bullied. Mm -hmm. But we used to get like, people used to get a towel, like a rag, and they used to spin it and they used to whack you with it. That's it used horrible. to hurt so bad. So I guess that's where the term ragging came from. Kids love each other. Don't bully one don't, another. Don't. We're all different for a reason, okay? Just It'd be boring if the it would be boring if we were all the same. <laughs> that's right. Some of you are gonna say that's enough lime stuff. No. There's a different flavor you get from the watermelon and the fruit when you have freshly squeezed uh, lime on top of it, okay? But yeah, we had a debate during movie night about this and she was right. She proved me wrong. We got up, we made the snack from scratch we brought the limes and it was different corrected it, it was very di different it was different oh people are calling Ooh, your we're calling we're popular i almost forgot my pineapple tamarind little treat there you're gonna want to get a lot more just take it easy okay because the chamoy is already filled enough as it is <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and scoop we're gonna scoop our portion right at the top right here okay just put it right in the center that way you're getting your fruit and everybody gets a little bit of that tamarind but you can also enjoy the freshness of the fruit you guys ready for a mouth-watering taste test yeah i'm such a hater my mouth is watering okay <laughs> if your mouth is watering give me a thumbs up friends and share it with everybody <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like we're getting on that Aladdin right on your shirt, man. Girl, look at this. It's just like, I'm ready. Invite me to the movies and we're set. Friends, this is great to rim your cups for your michelada, for your antojitos. And if this goes well and you share it with everybody, I'm going to show you the most delicious drink that you're going to have for summer. And it's going to be easy once you've already made your your chamoy, your sexy sauce to sell, okay? <laughs> you can dunk your pineapple spears in that one, right? In you can sauce? dunk everything, okay. your your sandia, like, honestly, imagine if you're, Cama. all right, it's party season, so imagine you have your trays of fruit, make sure you cover it, because you know the fruit flies will find them, and you have your portion of this set for them, and their little containers here. Here's your container. Not only is it for your fruit right now, but it's to go. Está listo para llevar. It's like a, a arrangement in the center for a quinceañera. You just, you know, display your chamoy. That's what you guys are gonna do. I like this. All right, you ready? Let's go with the watermelon first. You get a little bit. And this can be dinner. This can be lunch. So make everybody a fruit cup. Sit down and watch something together. Play loteria, play a board game. Have a little bit of fun. Oh. Above all, stay safe. Stay safe, stay happy, stay satiated. And I don't know, we have a lot of delicious food coming this week. Can you eat one of the tamarroca, the pineapple covered in, not a tamarroca, the pineapple covered in the chamoy? This that one? creation you made? That thing. Is that nice and chewy? <laughs> it's like <laughs> rice cake chewy, him. Yeah. It is rice cake chili. And with the pineapple, you get a little bit of the tartness, but sweet. Because you guys saw how long I waited for those pineapples to cut them. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. If you have watermelon with a little sprinkle of salt and key lime, how good that is. Now imagine with all this delicious stuff. I know you're in paradise right now. I know this is your happy place. I'm in the kitchen. I have my antojito, my snack. Happy early birthday to you. You know that people ask me all the time, when is your sister's birthday? And I feel really rude that I'm not able to respond because you don't let me. My birthday is in July, friends. So wish me a happy birthday. If you guys want to get me something for my birthday, you can loop your favorite video. And say happy birthday to me in the comments. Or donate to our fundraiser for Dig Dig Deep mm -hmm. for the Dynan Nation. We're trying yeah. to help bring uh, clean water to them, um, especially during this crisis. So any little bit helps. If you don't know who the Dynan 
are they are our Navajo friends. And I love you guys. I love everybody. I'm just, just such a lovey. I even end up loving my haters, girl. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself, but one thing I'm going to enjoy this Sunday is my antojito. I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. Wait, give a special birthday shout out to someone else, not only you. Oh my goodness, friends. I made a really good friend here on the channel. And you guys know Tia Lulu? Yes. Tia Lulu, if you're watching, I love you, girl. She's so patient with me because you guys know that I have my own things going on and I'm busy. I don't get to friend like I did when I was younger. So not only is she really respectful of my time, but it's her mom's birthday month too. So. Happy birthday to La Señora Guillermina Rodriguez. We love you in this house, and we hope you have a great, or had a great birthday. Had a great quinceañera. Señora. La quinceañera. <laughs> Saludos a toda la familia Rodriguez. Bye, guys. <laughs>